Hello, this is Dee from the Fishing Gardeners. I'm going to add some pollinator plants and mulch to this area right here. As you can see, slowly but surely, I'm trying to mulch at least half of my backyard. So come with me on this quick journey. Okay, let's go. And there you go. So I went ahead and went to the flea market and got these plants right here. They were actually very, very cheap. So all these plants combined that you see right here cost me $16. Let's combine the buckets, the little buckets right there cost me $4. The blue buckets, the tables, it was three for $5 at the flea market. Okay. So I just wanted to add some more plants to the garden to help the butterflies and pollinators come in. I have one part on the other side and I have added this part right here. As you can see, I'm trying to mulch at least half of my yard because my yard is basically level sand and I use boxes like this right here and I put them down. Lots of boxes and you can get boxes from, you know, behind big lots or any type of big, um, big box stores. This right here, I'm getting ready to, um, well, this spring, I'm going to put a mango tree in this spot right here. So I'm, I got that prepared. And right across, which is 25 feet away, another mango tree will go on that side um, in April. So I already had the mango trees, but I'm going to go ahead and wait until the winter. I'm going to protect them to the winter, and then I'm going to put those in. So this is the rest of the mulch that you see going around the backyard. I prefer a lot of mulch versus sand. So no, I'm not going to go ahead and have a truck dump mulch in my backyard. I had two friends that did that and they had trees down and a lot of their trees died because they found out after they got it tested that it was the mulch that was dumped. And, um, you know, sometimes when they cut trees down, some trees have diseases and, um, the mulch just got dumped right on, you know, on the plants in there. Um, fruit trees and um, they want them dying so I just rather do it this way right here when they have a sale at you know the either Ace, Lowe's or Home Depot and just get the mulch the old-fashioned way and just put it down to be safe because I'm starting to put a lot of trees in the ground and I do not want those problems so it may take me time but I have time and I do it so this is all the mulch I have so far and as you can see you see the mulch up there and then you see the sand so I have sand weeds and then I have mulch. And you'll notice I put a lot of border around the uh, mulch to keep it in place. And to eventually get some more mulch. So I got some rocks over there and I got some more mulch over here. If I could, I would mulch my whole backyard truthfully. Don't know if that's going to happen. It's okay. Um, at least I'm halfway there. So, um, well, a little less than halfway there, but I'll get there. I just want half. I'm, I'm okay with just half of the backyard being mulched. You know, that's what I prefer. Okay, so just wanted to let you know this is what I've done today. And my hubby helped. And thank you for joining me. Have a blessed day. Goodbye.